Hey, I have the perfect guy for you. He's the best vampire hunter in this zip code. This is my house! We need to get to their leaders, okay? If we get to them, we'll be successful. This is Stuart. So this is the David. Good to finally have a face with the name. I hear my sister talking about you all the time. I feel like you're already part of the family. Break up with my sister or I'll rip your head off! What the fuck? <sighs> oh my god! That shirt's from Walmart. What? You know, I gotta go though. Prepare for an awesome death. Any last words? Uh, pork chop. Flash dance. Um, beaten. Senseless. Is that a black guy? What the hell is that? That's Bloodsucker Jones! Waka! Allow me to introduce a small Filipino chick. Don't touch. Tomorrow, we start your training. Where's Bloodsucker Jones? I'm in the woods! You ready to go kick some ass? Hell yeah, let's kill some vampires. Yeah, we're the vampires. We do the killing, you stupid idiot. What the fuck? Do you want to see my boobs? Shaft meets Mario Brothers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a new technology called cassettes. It's like the future. Ow! Yeah. Watch and learn, boys. Watch and learn. Ow. Run, motherfuckers, run! It's the children of the corn! It's not for the faint of heart or the faint of health, and certainly not for the good of taste. Honey, I'm home. So, so, I got this movie for date night. It's called Showgirls, and it is the best romantic comedy ever. No, no, this one has boobs in it. This one is based on a book. Does it have dragons and wizards in it? No, but it has drag and whizzing. Fine. Take me away. Right here, right now? So we'll just watch a movie. It really is based on a book. And what book is that? All I need to know about filmmaking I learned from the Toxic Avenger, written by Lloyd Kaufman and James Gunn. Oh lord, oh lord. We begin with a man getting his leg rip ripped off and beaten with it. Wow, that's extremely violent. It part of her wig flew up. That's why it's trauma. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> He, he wouldn't actually off himself, would he? Oh, I doubt that. Okay, nope, nope, hey, done. Hey, I'm done. Hey, I'm going to bed. What? Hey, hey, there's still more movie, and put your glasses back on. Fine. 
try expressing myself a bit more physically by giving you a nice punch in the fucking lungs. Man, not the topster. He had good potential. Ah, what the heck? Shoot the scene anyway. We don't need sound. Isn't that one of the shot girls from Return to Newcomb High next to her dad? Yes, it is. And also in the crew is Will Keenan, who was Tromeo in Tromeo and Juliet, and Trent Haga, who went on to be the lead bad guy of the Diaper Mafia in Toxic Avenger Part 4, Citizen Toxie. Okay, well, so then Uncle Lloyd's playing himself, right? Well, sorta. He's playing a blind director loosely based on himself. Okay, scooch over. And lay down. You gotta go to the bathroom, you just, oh, you gotta go, you know, Larry. If you throw me on the floor because of a sex scene, you're cut off. From sex? No. I'm going to cut it off. Yes, ma'am. It really uh, helps the uh, hemorrhoids, uh, you know what I mean? So, we're not even ten minutes into this film. There's been sex, urine, and a suicide. This isn't going to get any better, will it? Oh, yes, it will. There's way more violence, drugs, and sex. Lovely. And an appearance by Tromi. You mean that dildo thing? Yes. How do you know so much about that thing? I looked in your nightstand. In the house, Todd stirs. Right. So, something tells me that's not really her voice. It's like something out of a bad kaiju film. Those assholes we never would have met. There you go. There's your feel up for the entire movie. Yay! Oh. Yeah, this is bizarre. Got a frat house of young boys. Where is she going to place that? There's only one hole on a male, and surely she wouldn't. No fucking way. No. Uh -huh. uh. Well, Todster was a douche, anyways. Yo, it ain't pretty, but you know it's the truth. This party just took a turn for the douche. The Abe Lincoln guy. I know him from something, but from what? That's Joe Lynch. He's Joe and Holliston, and he was the director of Wrong Turn 2. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you mean that one guy who did? Cause this is my United States of whatever! Oh, that's... That's so sweet, but so, so wrong. I love, I love you anyway, though, laddie. Aww, and I would love to kill you and play in your entrails, Mr. Cheesy. Ah, close enough. Mm. Mm. Cornholing! It's horrible out there, but it's worse. It's worse here in the movie set. It's Cornholing. Is that seriously a term? Yes, it is. Especially if you're Garfunkel and Oates. Wait, don't you mean Hall and Oates and Simon and Garfunkel? No. Garfunkel and Oates are a comedy duo. And here they are. Fuck me in the ass cause I love Jesus. The good Lord would want it that way. Give me that. Oh, we are so in offensive territory right now. And the last trauma film we weren't? True, true. Oh my god, you're so big. Oh, okay, girls, keep it up. I can make you both big stars. Oh, that's wrong on so, so many levels. But at least I was a gentleman at your audition. Oh, yes you were. I mean, look at me. I have no ass. Well, your ass is big enough for me. Mr. Cheesy, is my ass big enough? I'm not sure. I would, uh, have to see it. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Remember, every time you smack me, I get to do it to you later on. Yes, ma'am. Is, is the safe word still the same? Oh, hell no. Do you want a pickled egg? No, I'm not doing this. Also, I'm not taking off my bra. I am not doing this at all. No, 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 no. She's my terrified. Terrified. I love this song. Come here. That's where I draw the line. What? So? So, ducks are okay, but pickles aren't? 
Well, you do have a point. I mean, a pickle would feel closer to the real thing. Wait, what? You know how, like, a pickle stimulates like a phallus? Sort of like other household items that you have. How do you know that? Well, I was poor when I was younger, and I had to improvise. Oh, There's some more movie going on, honey. Keep that shut. You're gonna catch something. <laughs> violent death yet. <laughs> yeah. I told you escalators are killing machines. That's why I only go on them when they're out of order. You mean when there's stairs? Exactly. Nothing bad has ever happened on stairs. This is very important, okay? Okay. Don't get any of that green shit on my hair, on my face, on my nipples, or in my pussy, okay? You know what? I have those same rules. You mean for when we shoot? No, no, no. No, no. That video's not allowed to be put up here. Cut. For you, with one touch of your hands. Uh, Are you sure this isn't a porn? At this point, I really don't know. Well, speaking of points, you might not want to stand up right now. What? Uh, oh, oh! <clears throat> Yes, please. Your mother naked on her period having sex with your father. God damn it! <laughs> Holy Is shit! Is it come on? Yay, I win! Wow. That guy got shot really well. It it's almost like he's the stunt guy or something. He is. He's actually the main stunt guy in this one. Oh, good. They can afford a stunt guy. Yeah, him. Who, me? I'm Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. I'm one of you guys. Oh, come on. His lips aren't even moving correctly. But at least they're trying. I have a beef with the butcher, Mrs. Goldberg. And no meats, no. Oh! I can't tell if these lines are bad because it's a movie within a movie, or if this is just, you know, trauma writing. I'm pretty sure it's both. Oh, so Mad Cowboy dies, and due to decency, we're not going to show you that clip. So we'll skip ahead to this. <laughs> you know, that guy, he just got... fried. One stunt man. Don't give up the fight for truly independent cinema. I totally agree with that. Independent films, honestly, are the ones that anymore aren't either remakes or sequels. Like Blood Took a Jones. Oh, or She Devils a Go Go. Or Trauma. Wait, doesn't Trauma sort of take place in the same universe? Sort of like the Marvel films? Yeah. But at least Troma never cast Ryan Reynolds as a superhero. No, that was DC. Wait, but I thought... No, 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 no. We don't talk about the Marvel Ryan Reynolds thing. We don't have to do that, remember? Okay. I'm pretty sure this has the highest body count than most... most horror films. Yeah, but it's a comedy. It has a it has a higher body count than Jack Frost. You mean the Killer Mutant Snowman movie? Yeah, that was a weird film. Snap out of it! Continuing on, Jenny goes to have a sex scene. It's a sex scene next? <laughs> well, uh, sort of, sort of, but but we. Okay. So the girl who's had a sex scene, masturbated, and been topless in this film, is going to do a sex scene in this film. Again. Contracts can be a bitch. <laughs> Look! There's a fat, naked guy running down the street. What the fuck? 
Yeah! And also there's the car flip from Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. Why aren't you commenting on the guys, you know, Dick doing the floppy dance while he's running around? Because <laughs> I figured you'd have more experience knowing about Dick Steer. What are you saying? 37! My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks! In a row? <laughs> Little... So, of course, they had to have a period joke in here. I'm not touching that with a ten-foot pole. I, I like what's left of my face. And... What? What? What's go... He... So, we cannot show you this, but... A dude just had his dick stretch Armstrong to cross the fucking room. Can they really stretch that far? Oh, oh can I try? Can I no! Try? No! Because that would hurt, that, that would hurt for many number of reasons. Huh. We are getting into spoiler territory here, aren't we? Well, I'm not really sure. Is it a spoiler if it came out in 99? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Anywho, Will is the killer. And he's doing his best Frankenfurter impersonation. Mm -hmm. See, I told you this had something in common with Rocky Horror. That it does. That it does. So Will comes out with a whoa, bonnet. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. You're going to skip over the fact Will does not have a penis. He has like a little tiny nubby thingy. But he has breasts. Nope, we just mentioned it. So anyway, Lloyd does the best special effect since the trauma famous car flip. And a guy farts and Will catches on fire. You, Jennifer, you... Hang on a minute. Okay. Nope. Those. His burnt face is on the cover of a DVD, effectively giving away the ending of this film. Well, yeah, but that makes sense. Will was a bankable star for them at the time, so it would make sense they would put his face on the cover. So I am gonna blow my fucking brains out. Okay, it's the end of the movie. Uh, do you want to take this one, sweetie? Oh, thanks. This, what we watched, was the unrated director's cut. It has the option where you can watch it with the deleted scenes in it. Yes, this was on the two-disc edition, which has a documentary called Farts of Darkness. Also, this has way more graphic violence, way more nudity than Return to Newcomb High, and is probably one of the more violent, gross, and disturbing trauma films. You can find it via Troma's website or specialty stores, but that's about it. Are we done with Troma now? <laughs> For now. Good. Let's make some art. Take off your shirt. Yes, mistress. <laughs> Yes, you do. Huh. Which one should it be? Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Looks like we're gonna revisit Reefer Madness the Musical.